Hey, what's up guys, Window Joe. And in this video, we're gonna talk about canvassing. So, I want you to come take a ride with me and we'll show you how we do things. Let's go. Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. So, some of the things that I like to look for when I'm canvassing for storefronts is obviously the amount of windows, the accessibility to the windows, if there's anything in the way, if there's any signage, if there's any neon signs around the exteriors. And basically, if I'm familiar with that sort of account. And what I mean when I say that is that I have a, a bunch of Starbucks accounts. And although they're different buildings and locations, they all seem to have the same gist about them. So I'm very familiar of how to move the things if I have to, if there's, you know, different kinds of chairs and tables or counters, things like that. So I like to try and get in with people that I'm already involved with. And it's always nice to mention a name, like if you know a district manager or a manager of another store, you know, they could vouch for you and say, you know, that you do good work. So just a couple things I like to look for when I'm, I'm looking for new storefronts. Another important thing I like to look for is locations that are already on my route. So although new accounts or new accounts are great, but they're even better if it's right along the way from one account to another and you don't have to drive all the way out of the way to get to it. You could just add them to a day that you know you're gonna be in that area and then boom, you just filled up another slot in that day. Instead of making it a whole another day to go to a whole different area, I like to expand from those areas out. And another thing, when you are handing out business cards to new potential clients, always, always take note. Do not just hand out the cards and then forget about them. Make sure you're writing down where you're handing these cards out, who you're handing them to, take their names, take their numbers if you can, get a business card. So if they don't call you right away, you could follow up and you've already developed that relationship with a person there. So you can call an ex for somebody, you're not cold calling them, they're familiar with you. You wanna, you wanna become part of their store. So when you're cleaning their windows, I like to tell my clients like, don't worry, these are my windows now. You're not gonna have to worry about them. So show them that you care, remember a name, get a business card, invest in your potential clients. And they're, uh, from what I've found, they're, they're way more likely to give you a call back or entertain a follow-up if they know who you are and you're respectful and you remember their name. So little things like that go a long way. It would pretty much be the same thing if you gave a, uh, estimate for a residential job and didn't write down any of their information and uh you know you wouldn't you wouldn't have any you wouldn't have anything to contact them off of. you know you need a number you need a you need a face you need a, you need a name you need an address you know you gotta gotta invest in these people they're gonna they're gonna be the ones investing in you to do business with you so make sure you take the time don't run in there, hand the card and run out, because guess what, that card, that's gonna be thrown right in the garbage. There's a million guys out there that are just handing out these cards. Be different from these other guys. Just wanted to show you my business card and how I had it made really simple for going about getting storefront work. I have my logo and all my information on the front, email, phone number, and on the back I have all of the platforms that I'm on and then weekly, bi-weekly, and monthly services. So when I'm quoting the job, I will give them all three of those prices and then let them decide what works best for them. There's a couple of things that I always look for when I'm doing my door hanging or you know going and handing out cards to people if I see people in a neighborhood. But um, I, of course, I always look at the windows and the type of windows in the house and you know jobs that are, you know easier harder bigger paying jobs lower paying jobs but 
One of the most important things I feel is when you see a landscaping truck or any kind of service truck outside of a home, they're getting a door hanger. Those people like to be serviced. So right then and there, you're seeing them having somebody service them. That should automatically, bing, pop the light bulb on and say, let me see if they need my service. Use that tip when you're out canvassing. If you see a service industry truck, any kind of service industry truck, you make sure they're gonna know about you too. So that's about it guys. Uh, hopefully this information helps you out and uh, some of the tips and tricks that I have gone over are beneficial to you. Um, if you have any questions, head on over to Window Cleaning Resource. They have a, uh, a couple forms and groups that uh, guys throw ideas and insults back and forth on. But um, definitely comment below if you have any questions. I'll do my very best to answer them. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com on YouTube. If you liked the video, please thumbs up and subscribe. And make sure to check back every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday so you don't miss a video. And if watching Joe soothes your soul, check out his YouTube channel at Window Joe.